So we're going to do a math problem from a real exam. And I want you to look at the examples because there are two parts of it on this uh, question. So this is SAT with a math ratio and doesn't take too long. So a gear ratio of R uh, to the S or R colon S is the ratio of the number of teeth with two connected gears. The ratio of the number of revolutions per minute RPM of two gear wheels is SR. And the diagram below, gear A is turned by a motor. The turning of gear A causes gear B and C to turn as well. If gear A is rotated by the motor at a rate of 100 RPM, what is the number of revolutions per minute for gear C? Um, let's not get tangled up in this 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 information. These are the gears that are turning around, kind of like you don't even have to worry about which ones, motor, piston, uh, whatever you want to say is in your engine. And I said R colon S, that's your first ratio, and this is your second ratio. And please don't get these confused because you know that this is a ratio too. And that this is the inverse of that. Okay, so you already know this. So all you have to do is just think about what they're asking you. Now, there is some other part to this that you don't want to think about too much. And that is, it says below, gear A is turned by a motor. The turning of gear causes uh, C to turn as well. Please don't worry about that. What you want to worry about is what they asked you. And I'm going to go on ahead and highlight what they're asking you. They're asking if gear A is rotated by a motor at a rate of 100 revolutions per minute RPMs. What are the number of RPMs or revolutions per minute? for gear C. So all you really have to do is look at A and C. So let's go to the next slide and look at what we're doing. A lot of what I told you was already done in this um, video. You can almost for right now get rid of, uh, you can pretty much get rid of gear B because all you really need to know is what's going on here. 100 RPMs, revolutions per minute, is what's given to you, and that's what you're going to be working of. Uh, what is the turning of the gear that they're asking you? That's the question. So the next step we have to do is we have to write an equation uh, so that we can better understand this, or you don't have to write it. You can just kind of understand what's going on. Information given to you is sometimes too much, but sometimes it's just what you need. So you have your, they're telling you what the ratio is. Number of revolutions per minute. Two gears is SR. Your job on the uh, SAT or ACT or any standardized test is to figure out if you're getting them enough information or not too much information, and then you can sift through it. So if it's RS and then your revolution is SR, look over here. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight this. Look at this. You did your original equation, 100 given to you, times 20 teeth. Don't get into it. This is all that's given to you. And when I say don't get into it, I mean don't get into why it's 20 teeth. Okay, it's 20 teeth. It's 60 teeth for gear B. It's 10 teeth for gear C. So somehow 20 teeth means something. And let, let's even do this. It could really be that you could ignore the word teeth and you can make it 20 um, RPMs, 60 RPMs, or 10 RPMs, but here's what you're really doing. You're trying to take these numbers and make them represent something. So you really just need to worry about your numbers and forget if they're teeth, if they're marks, if they're um, units, if they actually say something else, think about which, what, what really is going on here. You have numbers here and you need numbers with ratios. So now the work has been given to you. Number of revolutions per minute is gear wheels S and R. So when they ask you, what is the number of revolutions per minute for gear C? You already have your original revolutions because you had gear A. You know that if they say if gear A is rotated, OK, 
okay? And they don't just throw this number 100 RPM for nothing. Okay, 100 RPM was put there for a reason. So 100 RPM has to be used, and we use it here. 100 RPM times our first gear of 20, which gave us 2,000. I'm just going to underline here so I don't make it look any uglier. Okay, and this isn't a 5, this is an S. This is your ratio. So guess what? That's what they told you it was, right? Back up here. SR. So you had 2,000 over R. Here's your 10. Check them off and bring the 10 down to here. And 2,000 times 10 is what? Scratch your zero, scratch your zero. It's 200. Here's your answer, C. And you can go back in the suite of answers on the SAT uh, website and check that, that this answer is absolutely the answer that was given for that. That's the one the students got correctly or the people who were taking it and got it right. Quick question. Thanks for watching.